scene, but it's fucking hilarious nonetheless. So, you know, let's make some noise. Round of applause for Salam Saman. Thank you. So, uh, my name is Salam, but my friends like to call me Baklava because I'm golden brown on the outside and I'm nuts on the inside. You know what I'm <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, I'm Chaldean, and if you don't know what that is, the next time you go into your local gas station or liquor store or pizza place and you see some Arab looking guy who kind of looks like me, well, he's probably my cousin. You know what I mean? It's true. It's true. It's yeah. Out. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you know, but Chaldean people, they love to be businessmen. You know, they they love it. And every time they find out I know how to fix computers, they're always like, uh, "Listen, uh, Salam. I know you normally charge thirty an hour, but how about I give you twenty for everything, and I put your number in my phone on speed dial, and if anything happens from now until ten years from now." I call you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, so we've been uh, having some pretty crazy weather the uh, last couple of weeks. Uh, it's almost like um, Mother Nature's going through menopause, you know? It's like she's hot, then she's cold. A couple of days ago she was crying. I don't know what's up with that, you know? All she's got to do is start asking me when I'm getting married, and she'll turn into my mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just. I'm just kidding, guys. Arab women don't cry. You know, my mom cried twice my whole life. The first time was when her mom died. All right, she cried for five minutes straight, and she picked herself up, said, "I got some ba uh, baklava to make," and she went right in the kitchen like a boss. I'm telling you. And the second time, <laughs> yeah. And the second time was tonight as I was walking out the door. Yeah. She was like. Uh, Oh, you want to give up four years of engineering school to be a fucking clown and tell yeah. jokes? Yeah. yeah. And then, like, as I was shutting the door, she was like, I should have swallowed you! Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, shit is brutal. It's brutal. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding, man. My, my mother's actually very supportive of, of my decision. She just, she, she just nags me to death. Uh, which is crazy because she's like 177 years old. I don't know how she does it, man. But uh, if you don't believe me, just go look at my father. You don't need to talk to him, just look at him because he looks defeated. <laughs> he just sits in the corner of the room and works on his jigsaw puzzles all day. And then when she goes to talk to him, he's just like, woman, please, no. I, look, your son, he's in the other room. Talk to him. Why did we make him? Don't talk to me. Don't, <laughs> Talk to him! It's his job! You know? So, speaking of the uh, last couple weeks, I uh, recently went to a... Uh, uh, there's this band called Muse. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. Alright, so... Uh, so, they had a concert a couple weeks ago, and I went to their concert, but nobody gave me any warnings. Now I'm gonna give you guys some warnings. If you guys go to a Muse concert, alright, take some napkins for when you eventually... Um, uh, come. For when you come. Because they're too fucking good. They are too good. I'm telling you. Yeah. And their lead guitarist is amazing. You know what I mean? Every time I see him play, I get super jealous. I turn into a high school girl, alright? I call the guy a bitch, and I talk about how his shoes don't match his shirt, and other shit that doesn't make any sense at all. You know what I'm saying? I, I recently was uh, looking him up, and I found out that uh, he only bangs supermodels, which is shocking to nobody because I get wet when I see the guy and I'm pretty sure I don't have those parts, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just get moist right in between the thighs and I just feel and I'm like, dirty pennies? What the fuck? <laughs> Speaking of dirty pennies, uh, I've been trying to date recently that shit's, uh, shit's pretty hard because I found out I have a superpower which is uh, I can scare a woman away before the first date, you know what I mean? One time, I got this girl's number on a Friday and I set a date for the next Friday but on Sunday, I remembered that on Monday I was free 
So I sent her a text like, oh hey, would you want to meet up? And I was thinking she would think like, oh this guy's into me, you know, let's do it. You know, but instead she thought, oh man, this guy seems like the type of dude who would ask me if we wanted to take a trip into the woods with a shovel and or rope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> anyway, all right, thank you guys. That's been my time. Yeah, yeah. Let's Keep it going for Salam, everyone. Yeah.